Uh, I got into pickleball pretty randomly, so basically there were some pickleball courts built near the tennis courts I played at at the time with my brother. Uh, we were down in uh, South Florida, and I just kind of saw it played, and I thought it looked fun, so I gave it a try, and that was about all there was to it. I just never stopped playing after I tried it. That's a rather casual explanation of the birth of this sport for this man, Ben Johns, who just a couple years later, at age 23, may be, Morgan, the best player that's ever lifted a paddle. Certainly right now, he owns that title, embraces it, and when he is on form, there's really no one else quite like him. His brother, however, Colin Johns, uh, an amazing player and complements Ben's game perfectly. Ben is the unanimously decided best left player out there, and Colin has a very good argument to be the best right side player. to get things started. We'll, we'll try to keep you honest, IDing the players. That's Ben Johns in the pink hat, his brother Colin serving here. Yeah, Colin is the elder brother. Colin is 29, Ben's 23. Colin was a, a pro tennis player for a, a hot minute. Had an ATP ranking in the 800s or so. Became a club pro, and then they both took up pickleball, and the rest is history. Zero, zero, one. Yeah, certainly better than my ranking. <laughs> and a rare miss from one. Ben Johns. You're going to see him going into uh, what you one, might zero, look one. at as Collins' territory. And we'll see the same on the other side. That's Riley Newman taking care of that third ball and fifth. And a big backhand from Matt Wright finds the net, unfortunately. So in the white shirts, white hat, that's Riley Newman serving here. It's handcuffed there. Riley, 29 years old from Whidbey Island, Washington, lives in Phoenix Zero, one, one. these days. for Ben Johns to put away. Yeah, he does such a good job of squashing those ball down. He's uh, migrated his grip one, one, closer one. towards an eastern forehand, whereas not that long ago he was uh, using something closer to a continental. Yeah. Oh, it sneaks that up the line. Ooh, thread the needle. Riley Newman, you'll see him using a lot of two-handed backhands. He's one, one of the few two. players that uses it not just for attacks and counter punches, but also dinks. Just to circle back to the grips that you were talking about, for, for tennis fans who know that extreme Western grips that create a lot of topspin, that's the fad the last 10 or 15 years. It's the opposite in pickleball. Yeah, traditionally much more towards a continental. Um, however, players have really started experimenting in the last few years especially. There is, there is a couple of players that do use that Western grip, and they're very awkward to attack, but they usually suffer in the dinks. Last week off the air, you, you, when trying to explain one, Ben one, Johns two. to me, said, think Federer 07, think Rafa at Roland Garros. He's, he's that great. Yeah, when he's on even reasonable form. At his 80% level, he one, can one, usually one. take care of business. Today, we've got a good chance to see him at 100%. Switch hands to the left. Yeah, he's known for that and actually has a quite a good left-handed game. 2-1-1. One, one. One, Second serve. And there's a missed opportunity from Ben Johns oh. trying to expose 
the two players two, one, two. Uh, unwinding a stack, getting into new positions. has tried that exact same attack twice and it has not provided any dividends. Yes, yes. Three, one, two. He loves it, it's his pet shot and gets it into the chest. Off the tape and wide, Matt Wright, also a, a college tennis player, University of Michigan. His achievements should not be overlooked either. Seven time US Open champion, two time Gold medalist of the Tournament of Champions. As that one goes up the line. Yeah. He and his partner, who we saw in the earlier match, uh, Lucy Kovalova, they have three, created three, a career resume unlike anyone else, really, in mixed doubles. So right changes up the uh, location of the attack, however the result is the same. There are the reflexes from Ben Johns. And to a large extent, it's his table tennis background. He is a phenomenal table tennis player. I've seen him strutting his stuff around the table and such speed. found his opportunity to go around the post. Had to deal with a good defense. Four, two, one. In the end, too strong. May have been out when Matt Wright played it. Second, third. Hard to make that decision in real time. Oh, it's incredibly quick, fast and furious. Four, two, two. Big side swing out. from Colin Johns goes long. It's a side out there for Newman in right. It's a 4-2 lead for the Johns brothers as we get going in men's doubles. <laughs> so glad that you're with us live for the network television debut at Pro Pickleball. Brett Haber, pleased to be alongside Morgan Evans, Cameron Irwin Hi, as well. Colin and Ben Johns, 4-2 lead, first game of the men's doubles. Oh, ho, ho. Second serve. That's his bread and butter forehand in the middle. Morgan, doubles, unlike two, tennis, four, gets more attention, more ratings than singles in pickleball, doesn't it? Yes, certainly. It is certainly the most uh, accessible discipline in the game. It's something you will see in your parks and clubs Four, around two, the country, around the world, uh, played much more often than singles. The physicality of a game of singles is not too dissimilar to racquetball, squash, uh, badminton, and doesn't lend itself to each and uh, everybody <laughs> playing it. Tough on the knees, tough on the joints. Four, two, one. Doubles by comparison can be enjoyed by everybody, really. Point. 
that right, just trying to fend off those attacks. Six, two, one. We had a little Ernie for the first time today. Two Ernies back to back in one rally. You don't see that very often yes, in the end. It is Newman getting the better Six, of it. Two, two. Uh, we, we, have a, no we have points. a nomenclature explanation coming on an Ernie and a Bert. <laughs> Notwithstanding those who enjoy Sesame Street, what's, a, what's an Ernie and what's a Bert? <laughs> an Ernie is when uh, a player jumps over, or you can you can run through the kitchen as long as you establish yourself on the other side and manage to take a ball out of the air much closer to the net than you would typically be able to. The kitchen line, or official name non-volley line, is seven feet back from the net. However, if you are standing close to the net outside the kitchen, you're more than welcome to volley. Fantastic attack from Riley Newman, getting high enough. Three, six, two. New Newman serving here. <sighs> that's Looks good. Looks like that's caught the corner of the court. Saw Riley Newman give the good signal. They let it go, but ultimately a bad choice. Players call their own lines, six, three, except one. in the kitchen. Replay available. Newman is one of the few players I've seen so far that plays the two-handed backhand on his dink shots. It makes it kind of look like he's flipping a pancake out of a frying pan. Six, three, yeah, his right hand, the bottom hand grip, is very extreme. It's a, a western forehand grip. The upper hand, though, is a continental towards eastern. Um, and certainly he's one of the few players that will play two-handed backhands three, six, on dinks and attacks, counterattacks. It makes him very tough to read. All right, Newman and Wright starting to close the gap. Four, six, one. Second serve. And Colin Jones putting more than enough mustard on that one to get to the outside of Matt Wright. It was a good looking attack from Newman, however, Johns, as he typically is, he's Six, four, one. ready and waiting.
once again. It's Matt Wright who pulls the trigger early. Unfortunately, that gives a three-point lead now to Johns and Johns. Still, that's the kind of style yes, of play Sorry, that we're one. so used to seeing in much of pickleball around the world. Plenty of dinks. The soft game on full display. summarizing the point of the dink correctly when I say if you keep the ball below the level of the net when your opponent hits it's very hard for your opponent to hit it hard yeah they have to create lots of top spin to be able to keep a ball in play and hit it hard not an easy thing to do although modern paddles they're getting more and more bite on the ball they're becoming more like tennis rackets uh, by the day there's an Ernie from the John side of the net Eight, four, two. Oh, and a big swinging single-handed counterpunch from team, Colin four, Johns two. and Riley Newman is not particularly pleased about the run of things at the moment. All right, so timeout on the court. The Johns re-extend their lead in game one of the men's doubles. There's a shot in pickleball called Ernie. An Ernie is one of my favorite shots. An Ernie is a trick shot in pickleball, or a sick trick, as the locals call it. In pickleball, you're not allowed to step in the kitchen zone unless the ball bounces in the kitchen. A player can jump and hit the ball in the air and then land on the sideline of the kitchen. So you're cutting the kitchen so you can hit the ball out of the air. That way, even though they volleyed the ball, their feet were never in the non-volley zone or the kitchen and therefore they never broke the rule. It's a huge advantage because you can close that court and make the court so much smaller. Why is this shot so effective? Well, it takes time away from your opponents, it surprises them, and also it looks super cool when you're actually flying around and hitting an Ernie. All right, and let's give credit to uh, Ernie Perry, after whom the Ernie is named. Yeah, he, uh, he managed to pull it off in the national championships in the late 90s. Uh, it was a major tournament at least, and that gave him some notoriety. He wasn't actually the first person to hit the Ernie, officially. Uh, it's still up for a debate a little bit, but Levon Major is certainly in that conversation. Shout out to Levon. saw Colin Johns fake the Ernie in that point. He, can I assume that there was not a guy named Bert who created the hey, Bert, but that two. they just stuck no. with the Sesame yeah. Street theme? Exactly. Okay, nice. And the Bert exists when a uh, player traverses not Try just out. his half, but on his partner's half of the court as well, and jumps his partner's kitchen line to Four be two, able to one. play what would typically be an Ernie. It uh, becomes a Bert. Very what? nice, there's uh, a good example of an Ernie from Matt right there. Not easy Five to get it one. quite so cross-court, so well played. Like Practically five. vertical exchange of drop shots there. <laughs> Yeah, no, in the end, there were some great attacks, but Ben Johns able to get lots of heat. And in the end there, Colin Johns to the rescue. So side out for the Johns, and game points coming. This is Colin. 10-5-1. Second serve. 
So second serve coming for Ben Johns. He can still close out the game here. Yeah, he had a great look there. 10-5-2. Beautiful attack. There's that two-handed backhand. It's so difficult to read whether he's going to dink or attack, and if he does, oh, where yeah, that what? ball's going. What? Six ten. Riley Newman. Six ten serving. one. Second serve. And a big attack from Ben Jones into the body of Matt Wright. Gets a paddle on it, but uh, nothing doing. And another Ernie from Ben Jones. He's putting on a bit of a masterclass over there. All right, another chance to close out the game here. Looked like that ball was floating wide regardless. Exchange. So the brothers from Maryland take game one at Pacific Palisades. CBS Sports Spectacular continues from Pacific Palisades, California. Men's doubles underway. Ben and Colin Johns taking the first game with their patented combination of touch and power and athleticism. Certainly, Ben Jones doing the bulk of the damage with his forehand side. You see there, Colin Jones, the older brother, doing it with the backhand. They play complimentary pickleball like no one else. Ben Johns has won over 50 titles in his career between the three disciplines, double singles and mixed doubles. He's won more triple crowns than anyone in the sports history. That's when you win singles, doubles, and mixed at the same event. He's done that nine times. Riley Newman, they've only recently actually beaten the Jones brothers. The Jones brothers have uh, ruled Still the roost for quite some time. Matt and Riley, however, play more tournaments. The other area Second, where sir. Ben Johns has been a, an innovator is he was the first pickleball player to get a series of uh, sponsorships and endorsements. And now if you look at the kits of all these players, they're making money off the court through corporate relationships. Yeah, it has become big business in every sense of the game. Sun out. Zero, zero, one. Second More time. outstanding reflexes from Matt and Riley. Uh, speaking of which, let's go down to camera. Yeah, guys, you know what's interesting? If you're new to pickleball, what you might not realize is the reaction time required to play up in those hands battles at the kitchen line. You think about baseball, 60 feet, the ball traveling well over 100 miles per hour. That's four tenths of a second in terms of reaction time. How about a tennis serve? 78 feet traveled, going 125 miles an hour. Same thing, less than four tenths of a second. But in terms of pickleball, it's less than three tenths of a second in those hands battles. That's how much reaction time comes into play in this sport, you guys. So, so I guess a, a way to translate that would be you don't necessarily have to be fast, but you better be quick. Yes, one, two, no, exactly two. right. And going one step further, uh, table tennis at the highest level is around two and a half seconds, or uh, sorry, two and a half, 250 milliseconds. <laughs> My apologies to uh, to react to a ball. So much of that relates to what we're seeing from Ben Johns. He grew up playing a sport, table tennis. Uh, 
at such a good level that for him, the ball is moving a little slower than for everyone else. That one Second, off the tape, two hands up and uh, faux apology. <laughs> yeah, Zero, classic one, sorry, not sorry. So table tennis is an Olympic Side sport. Out. Do you expect pickleball to be an Olympic sport? Oh, for sure. It's not a matter of uh, if, one, it's just one. when. I think it'll start out as an exhibition sport, like so many do, uh, but quickly transition into the main events. Visibly concerned with his level at the moment. He, he's a barker, isn't he, Matt? Oh, yes. He yeah, barks with the best of them. He can be uh, the best junkyard Second dog third. out there when he wants to be. <laughs> but Two off the court, two. nicest guy. Really sweet. But fierce competitor on the court. Some creative use of the paddle there. Flipped almost sideways from Ben Johns. That's a shot that uh, I've only recently seen him bring to the table in the last few outings. Start out. Kind of the, the forehand side of the paddle on the backhand side of his body. Zero, three, one. Yeah, there and are vice versa. There are a couple of players who exclusively use the forehand side. There's an ATP. Oh, but Ben misses the put away. I'm sure older brother is going to have some words with him after that. One, three, one. Still, it's the Johns brothers in command. Too good. Wright and Newman brought some real heat there in the end. Johns fending off with the backhand side. Riley Newman cheating over to the right side of the court, got exposed. So they get the serve back. Yes, sir. Two, three, two. Newman serving. Solves the riddle right there. Also, I got to look at that patented uh, Riley Newman three, three, two. arm flapping body English. Yes, he has such willpower. It's shocking how often it does get the ball up and over the net. <laughs> so the Johns brothers serve three, three, now. One. We're tied up at three. Johns, yes. as he was able to readjust himself off the tape. Yeah, he played the scorpion there, put her pedal up <laughs> nice and high, whipped Four, three, it down. One. Well played. Oh. And a divorce ball gets the better of Wright and Newman. Explain that. Well, no one knows who Five, gets three, it. One. <laughs> the Ernie from Riley Newman. Yeah, he's, he's been due. Matt Wright has had to deal with a lot of these balls. Five, three, two. It's time now for Riley Newman to prove why he is such a force to be reckoned with. Riley Newman, another former college tennis player at Seattle University, class of 2015, 
later became a volunteer Six, assistant three, coach there. His dream was to referee basketball in the NBA. And he got pretty close, but uh, had to put that by the wayside to focus on professional pickleball. Nice problem to have. He, he was an outstanding high school basketball player. I read that he scored 46 points in a high school game, yes. Washington State. It was against me, though. So, you know. No, he's a fantastic player um, and a fierce competitor. He's one of those players that has that never say die attitude uh, and just stays so positive. He does a great job with his partners of lifting his partner up and helping them become a better team together. Second serve. He's also well known as the best defender in the game. Big family Four sister six, Lindsay is his usual mixed doubles partner, one of seven siblings. Side out. Yeah. In the last year, he'd be, he has been uh, playing a lot with uh, Catherine Parento, who we will see tomorrow alongside himself. Tries to go ATP, but it's wide. So 7 Just 4. However, Sorry, I believe Second Colin serve. Johns has said that he touched the ball. So. 6 4 2. Hmm, you're right. He isn't just resetting, but he, like he so often does, he is counter-punching with yes, a vengeance right now, as is Colin Jones. There was a, an Ernie as he landed Side just out. beyond the sideline to keep it legal. He is an athlete, and that gets the ball back. Four, seven, one. Second serve. Actually, three of these four players, both John's brothers and Riley, four, seven, come from families of seven siblings. I wonder if there's something uh, to be said for pickleball and giant families. Oh. Helps you find a partner. Yeah. yeah. Having built in drilling partners helps a lot. Ben and Colin's sister, Hannah, works for the PPA Tour as a, a reporter, broadcaster. Five, seven, two. The youngest in the family, only six years old. So the Johns brothers closing in here, 7-5, seven, seven, although five, Newman and Wright keeping it close. Did you see Bill Gates tweet? at Ben Johns the other day. Yeah. He's getting pickleball pointers from the Johns brothers. Everybody is playing. Left did Riley Newman did not work. 8 5 Johns and Red Johns on the doorstep of another win.
Nova PPA Tour summer schedule leading up to the next Grand Slam event. That's the Baird Wealth Management Open from the Lindner Family Tennis Center in Cincinnati. You can catch all the action of the next PPA Tour Grand Slam event September 8th through 11th on Tennis Channel. 8-5, game two of the men's doubles. Johns and Johns already with the first game. It's not out. And Matt Wright unloading everything into that overhead. 5-8-1. And there's the familiar sounds of lead referee Don Stanley, backed up by Ron Ponder. Yeah. Oh. A big backhand from Wright, finding the open space near the sideline. Tracking referee Leslie Frank and the video referee once again Dee Dee Jackson. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why this is the fastest growing sport in the country. Oh, it stays on the tape and then trickles back for Wright and Newman. So they pull within one. Seven, eight, two. This is the moment where the Jones brothers may feel some pressure. First. Side out. Of course, if Lady Luck is on your side, that alleviates a little bit. They now have the luxury of not being able to lose eight, a point seven, for at least two. So two match point for Johns and Johns. So if they get this one, yes, they'll have that match point. And Riley Newman did a good shot, uh, a good positional shot there, finding that near right shoulder area on Colin Johns, made it tough for him to play his preferred backhand. So side out, Newman and Wright regain the serve. Seven nine one. Second serve. It's too good. Jones on the backhand side. He's done a great job of not finding the middle or the down line right player. He's getting to the outside of the cross court player time and time again. Ben Johns wins the reflex exchange. That's why they're calling him the GOAT at uh, such a young age. Just 23 to have that label. Second serve. Curse of the commentator? I guess. That's on you, bud. 972. Yeah, nobody oh. takes it, and that costs them. So that brings up match point. It'll be Colin Jones Ten, seven, two. to serve. Such a good job of counter punching. They forced Newman and Wright to really make the first move. And in this game of pickleball, so often that is a tough way to play. Those counter punches, fast and furious from the Johns brothers. And we see Riley Newman off to hydrate. Too good, Johns and Johns. So Newman and Wright are done for the day. Johns and Johns add another title to their collection. The duo out of Laytonsville, Maryland, by way of Austin, continue to collect notches on their resumes. Let's go down to Cameron, who's got the champs. 
All right, I got Ben and Colin here. Congratulations, first and foremost. But let's talk a little strategy here. How did your strategy evolve from game one into game two? Uh, I think we just had a, a couple adjustments, uh, mostly that uh, we needed to drop to a specific location uh, and to make sure we get established before we uh, start attacking because that seemed to be what was working. So um, not too much change, just some minor things. Uh, and then for you, Colin, what's the conversation like in terms of knowing when to attack back and when to kind of defuse some of those situations when those speed ups are coming your way? Yeah, it's really uh, specific to the scenario, so depending on who you're playing, I mean, both those guys counter so well, you got to be, really be careful when you attack, um, choose your times, and make sure you hit it with some misdirection, otherwise you know, they're really, really going to be on it. So, uh, yeah, I felt like we did that well, and uh, that was part of the key. All right, we've talked so much about the growth of this sport, the first time on national televised. This is a big deal for you guys. What is it like to be a part of this one? Yeah, you know, it's awesome. I think it's uh, pretty cool to see not just the, uh, the pickleball fans out there enjoying this, but also maybe some new fans, huh? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so no, it's awesome. I think uh, everyone that plays pickleball wants to bring their love of pickleball to everybody else, and I think today is a big step towards that, so uh, I'm glad to be a part of it. You guys talk so much about the love of this game. What is it that makes this game so exciting? We see the reaction time and the quick pace up at the kitchen line, but why do you guys love it? Um, it's a little bit of everything. I mean, it's sort of an unsolved sport in the sense nobody's really sure how to play yet. I mean, it's such a new professional sport that people are adding new shots all the time, so I think that's really interesting, and then it can go from 0 to 100 in a split second. So a little bit of all of that, and uh, of course everyone can play it. So um, it's just uh, great to be out here representing pickleball. Well, congratulations to both of you, and I think it's time to get some hardware. So Connor Pardo, CEO of the PPA Tour, come on over and hand out the hardware. Do you want to sit right down? It's heavy. <laughs> On behalf of the PPA Tour, Skechers, our title sponsor, and uh, CBS Sports Network, we present you guys with the uh, Skechers Cup. And congratulations, guys. You guys put on a great show on national TV. You should be proud. Let's give them a big round of applause, everybody. Thanks, Cameron. All right. Well, the hardware has been handed out both on the women's and men's side. So back to you guys, Brett and Morgan. All right. Uh, Cameron, thanks very much. Congrats to the Johns Brothers. And I, I think Colin used a, a, an apt term when he said it's an unsolved sport, right? There are new tactics coming in all the time. There are new players coming in all the time. It's fun to watch something evolve like this in real time. You're exactly right. Both Colin and Ben Johns are actually fantastic chess players. Uh, Colin, especially a velo of 2200 or so in his prime. And the way they look at the sport is exactly that. The tactics involved in turning what often looks like a game of chess, uh, checkers, sorry, into chess uh, is a big part of it. And they drill together, they live close by, and I think they spend a lot of the time doing their homework, figuring out how to play the game differently, what new shots can get involved, how they're gonna deal with certain teams. And if you have never played pickleball and thought about starting to pick it up, the learning curve is very steep. You can become an effective player pretty quickly, can't you? Exactly. When you think about the rules of the game, the kitchen especially, it is the great equalizer. It makes the game so much fun for everybody. All right, that's going to do it for us today from the Skechers Invitational. Tomorrow, the action continues from Riviera Country Club for the men's singles, women's singles, and mixed doubles finals. Make sure you tune in at 3 p.m. Eastern on CBS Sports Network. Tonight on CBS, begin with NCIS. That's followed by NCIS Hawaii, plus 48 hours all tonight on CBS. For Morgan Evans, Cameron Irwin, and our entire crew, I'm Brett Haber. Thanks for watching the PPA Tour on the CBS Sports Spectacular.